Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, we're going to do something tonight that I love to do, and quite frankly, I've never seen another gun channel do it. This is something that I genuinely have a passion for, and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Let me know if you do in the comments field below. What we're going to talk about tonight is a pattern that is developing from Democrats across the nation at the state level. Now, this is very interesting because what will happen on this channel is I'll notice something and I'll do a story and a video about it. A couple weeks later, I'll see something very similar. And before you know it, you have three or four occurrences coming from the same side, going in the same direction in unrelated states. And that's what we have right here. And it's interesting to note, but check it out. I want to know what you guys think. Everything is linked in the description box for your review if you want to take the time to check it out. But let's take a look here because Wisconsin just introduced some red flag laws. And it's intriguing what and how it's going on. Let's just dive in. All right. So... Like I said, Wisconsin Democrats push red flag background check law. And the reason that this is interesting is the Republicans own the House and the Senate in Wisconsin. So why would the Democrats put it forward? If that strikes a bell and you're a regular viewer, we did a video a couple days ago in North Carolina where the exact same scenario is taking place. North Carolina Democrats just introduced red flag laws where they don't have the House or the Senate. They don't, flat out. And they know it will not go anywhere. That's now two states that are swing states, that Democrats have now done something they know they're going to lose, and there's got to be a reason, so we're going to dive in. And there's even some more stuff which I find fascinating, but just let me know what you guys think if you see like I'm seeing it. So, like I said, here's the support from North Carolina. North Carolina Democrats renew push for red flag gun law. I did the video like three days ago. Go check that out if you want. This one right here I found extremely interesting. This is a video we did about a month ago about Gretchen Whitmer in, Mich in Michigan. Whitmer spending $75 million of pandemic rescue funds to reduce crime. In that video, we talked about how she was supporting gun rights all of a sudden and then also funding the police, a direct inverse to what she was doing. I know she doesn't support these things, but she's changing her public perspective. And that's the important piece. They're changing for the vote. They're not changing because they believe these things. They're changing because of the vote. But it's interesting to see it across all these states. And interestingly enough, look where Whitmer is right now in her polling for 2022. Whitmer trailing GOP challenger by six points in Michigan governor race, says a poll. Now that's interesting because these polls are democratically weighted. We all know it's true. If you watch anything from 2016, every single poll was heavily Democrat weighted. She's losing in Democrat weighted polls and we're starting to see things across the country. Okay. But now take a listen to going back to Wisconsin, what the Democrats have actually said and what they're doing, because it doesn't make sense. And there's got to be a reason and we're going to touch on it. Led by Attorney General Josh Call, Wisconsin Democrats are reintroducing legislation to expand gun restrictions. Both bills are unlikely to be considered by the Republican-led legislature, which has rejected them multiple times. Then why do them? Keep going. You'll always find the kernel if you keep digging. Democratic lawmakers promoting the bills stress their widespread public support. Main Democrat talking point. Wisconsin can honor its hunting heritage and individuals' rights and still take steps to address gun violence, Taylor said. Moderate gunpoint. That's a talking point from the gun controllers, 100%. So now we're at two gun control talking points in a, in a failed um, legislative proposal. Republicans who hold majority in both chambers of the legislature have never indicated an interest in either proposal. And that's what we're looking at on the field so far. And it's not even 2022 yet. If you look nationwide, you're starting to see Democrats do things that make no sense, more so than usual, but no sense on an outcome-related perspective. Why would the Democrats in North Carolina and in Wisconsin do the exact same thing with introducing red flag laws when they have no chance of passing at all, not even being taken up for debate, but they're doing it anyway, using the exact same talking points on a national level? The reason why is they have lost their support base. This is bigger than Democrats want to win votes back by taking common sense gun reform. They're doing these things because they have an unmotivated base. You don't do these things for no reason unless you are trying to motivate the people who put you in power. They're not going to gain ground with independents. They're not going to gain ground with Republicans. They are only targeting these things in two different states, both happen to be swing states, to uh, rally their base because they are losing on their base. Tying in Whitmer, Whitmer is losing her base, and she's actually losing support with independents. That's why she's behind. Gavin Newsom just got recalled. Granted, he got reelected, but still, he got recalled. They spent $70 million from the Democratic side on that. Why would they do that if there was no problem? 
And the further and further that we get to 2022, the more and more we're going to see this pattern develop. I'm calling it right now. But that's what I've got for you guys tonight. I want you guys to understand that you're making a difference and the impact that you each individually have is much larger than you think it is. And we are going to pass the blessing of the Second Amendment along to the next generation. Keep in the fight. Keep your heads clear. And we're going to come out on top on this. Until tomorrow morning on the Bullet Points, I'm Braden. See you later.